Christmas Traditions, based on the original story by Disney Plus, adapted and told by July Leonard. Lady was excited. It was almost time for Christmas. I can't wait to teach the puppies all about our Christmas traditions, she told Tramp one evening. Teach them? Tramp asked. What is there to teach? Doesn't Christmas just show up one morning? Well, yes, Lady admitted, but Christmas is more about than just one day of the year. It's all about the, all the things we do together as a family. This was Lady's first Christmas with the puppies, including Scamp and Angel and with Tramp. Just wait until you see the tree all lit up, she told him. It's magical, and then we hang our stockings by the fire. Tramp looked confused. Why would you hang up stockings? He asked Lady. For Santa Claus to fill with presents, of course, Lady replied. Just then, the two heard a voice with a thick Scottish accent. Aye, lad, old Saint Nick will fill your stocking with toys and bones and fancy collars, said their friend Jock, who had joined them. My favorite part of the season is caroling, Trusty added, joining the group as well. Miss Lady is a fine singer, and I've been known to howl along pretty well myself. I, I like the lights, Jock said. It's like having a wee bit of the night sky inside your house. L Lady smiled. My favorite part is Christmas dinner. We all sit together and eat the most wonderful meal of the year. It sounds quite the celebration, Pidge, Tramp said. What's your, what's your favorite tradition, lad? Jock asked. Well, I never really celebrated Christmas for many years, Tramp told them. On the streets, it was just another day, although the scraps were much better than usual. However, I did get to celebrate it months after I was adopted. Well, all of that has changed now, Lady said. I just know you'll love our holiday traditions, and the puppies will too. It, r it really is the most wonderful time of the year. What's the most wonderful time of the year, Mama? Scamp asked, bounding over to his parents. His siblings Annette, Colette, and Danielle, along with his girlfriend Angel, ran after him. Mama, Mama, they called. Jim Deere is bringing a tree inside. What's he doing that for? Christmas, my darlings, Lady answered with a smile. Angel, on the other hand, raised one eyebrow. I never even celebrated Christmas before as well, she said, which was actually true, considering the fact that she had been astray in her beginnings and had five previous families briefly for the past months. Well, Angel, Scamp replied, I'm sure you'll love it. But apart from that, Lady was right. Christmas was magical. The whole house sparkled and shone with decorations and light. The puppies had had a great time hanging ornaments on the tree, although Tramp and Angel had to help them reach the branches. And Darling even let them sample some of her sweet-smelling Christmas cookies. One chilly night, the whole family bundled up and went caroling with Jock and Trusty. Lady did have a lovely voice, though it was hard to hear over her over Trusty's howling. Lady, Tramp, Jim Deere, Darling, Scamp, and Angel even did some mistletoe. On Christmas Eve, Jim Deere and Darling took the family ice skating. Annette, Colette, and Danielle are even great skaters, just like their mother. But Tramp, Scamp, and Angel were qu weren't quite as graceful than they think. They both fell face first on the ice. This this certainly isn't going to be my favorite Christmas tradition, Tramp said with a laugh as Lady helped him up. Tell me about it, Dad, put in Scamp as Angel giggled but managed to help him back up in the end. Before bed that night, Lady and Tramp helped the puppies hang their stockings with care by the fire. What are those for? Scamp asked his mother. My thoughts the same way, put in Angel. Lady smiled. Just wait and see, she said. 
The next morning, the puppies woke up to find their stockings stuffed. Santa had come. He had brought a teddy bear for Annette, a brush for Colette, a squeaky mouse for Danielle, a big ball for Scamp, and a red and green bow tie for Angel. She never looked so festive in months. I tell you what, Angel, said Scamp. I really like your new Christmas bow tie. Why, thank you, she said, blushing. Lady got a new shiny water dish, and Tramp got a new bone to chew. Merry Christmas, everyone, Lady said, looking around at her happy family. Later that evening, Lady, Lady was getting the puppies ready when she heard something that made her heart sink. Merry Christmas, Aunt Sarah, Jim Deere said as he opened the door. We're so glad you could come for dinner this year. Aunt Sarah greeted Jim and gently set down her Siamese cats, C and Am. The sly animals crept into the room, sniffed at the puppies, then slowly slipped into the dining room. Lady turned to Tramp. We should keep an eye on those two, she said. You never know what... Crash! Oh no, Lady cried as they rushed into the dining room. The cats had knocked over the dishes and scattered food everywhere. Christmas dinner is ruined, she said sadly. But the cats are not as sneaky as they think. Darling had seen everything and they knew, and, she, and he knew they were the cause of the trouble. Aunt Sarah apologized, even to Lady, who she'd been harsh on last year, despite it being late, locked the cats in their carrier, sounded them severely, and helped, and, for framing Lady, last year, and helped clean up the mess. When all the broken dishes and ruined food were gone, Lady and Tramp looked at the empty dining room. I'm sorry about dinner, Pidge, Tramp said. It's my favorite holiday tradition, and now I don't get to share it with you. It's my favorite holiday tradition, and now I don't get to share it with you, Lady said sadly. I was really looking for I was really looking forward to it. Suddenly Tramp had an idea. Come on, he said. Let's get Jim Deere, Darling, and Sarah and the kids. I just realized I do have my own Christmas tradition to share with you after all. Tramp led the whole family downtown to Tony's. Hey, hey, Butch, Tony cried when he saw them walk in. Welcome to a Christmas dinner. We were wondering if we could see you this year. And with such a beautiful family. Come on in. This is perfect, Lady told Tramp. This is perfect, Lady told Tramp, as they all sat down to a delicious Italian Christmas dinner. Merry Christmas, Tramp said. May all of our traditions continue for many years to come. Except maybe for ice skating. <laughs>